Paul said, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Hello everyone and welcome to Blind Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you a tag that I saw. Uh, I do believe her name is Andrea Matigliano. Do. She is so awesome. You know, I love her personality, how she presents herself and all that. So, I saw this video and I'm like, hmm, I ought to try that. Give it a shot. You know, because it is a very challenging question. If I could only keep one product out of all the different categories I have, what one product would it be? So, that's what we're going to run through today. And I'm going to tell you why I would keep that one product above all the others that I do have. I do plan on doing a collection video in the coming weeks. You know, it'll be probably sometime in June, July, somewhere in there probably. That I'm going to do a collection video as well as a declutter video. But I still wanted to do this. And this is basically where you go through every category of your makeup. Primer, foundation, concealer, powder. You name it. The category, you go through it. And figure out one product out of that entire thing. I'd keep. And that's what I did here. I went through my entire collection of primers, for example. And I was like, okay, what is the one primer that if I had to throw everything else away that I would keep? Now, this is not to be confused with the Ride or Die makeup challenge or makeup tag because the Ride or Die, that's stuff that you absolutely love. You can't really live without it, that type of thing. Now, to me, this is well, okay, yeah, I guess in a way it is the same, but the ride or die is what I consider holy grail status makeup type thing. Now, this here is more out of what I already own, because, yeah, I have some ride or die that I would love to have and keep and whatnot, but they're just not in the budget at this point. But this here is out of the makeup that I already own, what would I keep? So let's jump on into it and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go in the order or try to that I normally would wear makeup or put makeup on. Now y'all, if you've been with my channel for very long, you have seen this product used, especially during the early days. And that is the Monostat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. Now this is meant, you know, for chafing relief, but it feels so good on the actual face and it really does create a smooth canvas that's why I love it now it's not meant for everyday use but it is great for a, a look that you really need it to stay put all day you don't want your makeup to start settling in your pores and your fine lines this can help that and it's about six dollars almost all these products I'm going to mention are in the six seven dollar range if not cheaper or there's only one product that is a ten dollar item but you know i try to focus more on drugstore related products than i do high end unless it's a item i got in a birch box a lure box or whatever so well you got the primer on now now what would i go for i've got so many foundations picking that was one of the hardest things to do because Sometimes I want a really light coverage where it's barely there. It's more, you know, just evening out skin tone, not really covering anything, not anything like that, where it just looks real natural. But other times I want a more medium coverage. And then sometimes I want full-on coverage. Now, what I went with today is one that I do get full coverage out of, and that is the Wet n' Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I have the shade Bus Buff Bisque. <laughs> Getting tongue-tied here. Yeah, try to say Buff Bisque three times fast. That, yeah. But this right here is a nice foundation. It has a doe foot applicator, which y'all have seen me use this in videos before. I'm about out of this one, but... I'm not repurchasing it right now because I will be getting darker and this shade won't match me anyway. So, you know. But yeah, the 
Photo Focus Foundation. It's great for taking photos. It's great for pretty much anything you do. This right here works. Nice. And it does stay put. This is one item I'm going to be testing out whenever I do my waterproof makeup challenge. So, there's actually a few items here that I'm going to be doing that with. So, now then, you got your primer and your foundation. You got to conceal those spots. You know, you got some little spot here and there that you just want to take care of, get rid of. You don't want to pile on more foundation. So, now, what concealer would I keep? Do I want to get something for right under the eyes? Do I want to get something for spot concealing? Do I want to get something for, you know, color correcting? I mean, that's a hard decision, too. <laughs> so, I went with the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. Now, this stuff is a good concealer. I mean, it is potent. Uh, a little bit of this goes a long way. But it is very thick. If you saw my review, you can see that it does, it practically stands on its own whenever you're trying to pump it out or squeeze it out. So, yeah. But this is a really good concealer if you want something that's really heavy coverage. Covers just about anything, you know, because I have used it before to cover spots on my hands, spots on my face, whatever. And it really does work wonders for that. So... There we go. Now then, let's move on to actual powder products. Now, this is fairly hard because I have so many different powders that do so many different things. Whether it is for baking, adding extra coverage, whether it's for just setting the makeup or whatever. But if I had to only keep one, I would want one that would set my makeup nicely, that I could easily bake with. It might give a little extra coverage, not much, but because it, it's not really skin tone, the one I'm talking about. But the shade is extra coverage, translucent extra coverage. But this here, y'all have seen it on my channel many times, and you'll probably continue to see it for quite a while. And that is the Cody Airspun Powder. I love this stuff. It really does work for baking under the eyes. It works for just setting makeup all together. I love it. You know, and it's cheap. I mean, for as much as you get, you get 2.3 ounces in this thing. I mean, even your average foundation, you only get one ounce. So, that ought to tell you quite a bit right there. You know, but this right here, it is the only one that I would say, yes, I'll keep it. It's matte. It keeps me matte. You know, so if I had to just choose one, that would be it. <laughs> now then, let's talk about contour for a moment, because that's what I would do next after I get my powder on. One contour thing that y'all see me use quite a bit is the BH Cosmetics Sculpting Glow Palette. It is in my, um, Project empties, so I am working on using that up, but if I had to say, okay, I have to throw everything else away except one item, what would it be? That would be the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is a $5 item, by the way. I believe it's 5 maybe 6 but it's in Dolce de Leche. It has a cooler, yeah, it is a more cool tone contour shade, and then a yellowy color highlight, which to me, a yellowy tone, I don't use it for highlight, highlight, like on top of the cheeks bones, but I will use it under the eyes. Now, I didn't use this particular one under the eyes today, but it really does help brighten under the eyes, and the contour really does add a chiseled look to the cheeks. So, that's something that if you want to contour, but you don't want to spend $15 on a NYX product or like the NYX contour palette or something like that. Just get this one that has two. It's great for beginners too. So that right there. And then we've got blush. I mean, whenever you're doing makeup, you gotta have some kind of blush. I can't see blush, but you know, I'm I was told one time that if I don't wear blush that it really makes me look really pale. So I tend to throw on a little bit of blush, even though I can't see it. 
Now, one I do like because I can see the glow whenever I do put it on, and that is the Milani Luminoso. Now, this right here is a $7 product, I, be I believe, at least. And it looks like that right there. I mean, it is a real pretty peachy pink color. I mean, on my skin tone, it just kind of blends in, in a way. But it really is a pretty peachy pink with, like, sh goldy type shimmer. At least in my opinion, that's what I see whenever I look at it swatched out you know but this really is a good blush now there are other great ones like elf blushes I used to own a bunch of the elf three dollar blushes those are great um, the best I remember the wet and wild blushes used to be good covergirl cheekers blushes were good that's why this was a harder thing to do because number one I can't see blush and number two there's so many good stuff out there that is even more affordable than Milani. But, you know, but still, but still, that is a great product. Now, this is something I have been absolutely loving lately, and that is highlight. If y'all have been watching my videos, you know I tend to throw on that highlight and glow all the way, <laughs> you know. But the highlight that I have on today is not this one that I'm talking about. I really only used the Monistat primer for this look today. But that just creates a smooth base for even using a BB cream like I did today. But this highlight really is affordable and you can get it at the drugstore. All these products are from the drugstore anyway. And that is the e.l.f. highlight. This is in white, yeah, white pearl. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. You can really put it on the lids if you wanted to for an eyeshadow, like a real brightening shadow. Or you can put it on the tops of your cheekbones, down the nose, cupid bow, chin, all that as well. Now, whenever you blend it out on your face, no, it would not be that harsh. But that right there is what it looks like. I mean, it has a more subtle sheen to it. It's not bam in your face like I love it. But I can wet it and make it a little more intense than that. So this right here is a great product as well. Now then, we don't have a whole, whole lot left. We've got eye products, basically. And my brow product that I have here. So... I mean, not a whole lot of stuff left to talk about. But eyeshadow, whenever I want a good eyeshadow palette, whenever I was trying to think of this, I was like, okay, well, what, what would I want in a good eyeshadow palette? Number one, it's versatile. It can be smoky. It can be bright-eyed. Or it can be, you know, very neutral. And that, I've got several that could go this route, including the um, new Wet n Wild palettes. Those can go this route. But this right here is a good palette as well. And it is the Koki palette and Bear It All. This is a $10 palette. Now, I had trouble going between this one and one of the Wet n Wild ones, which is the Not a Basic Peach palette. I mean, because this can go very neutral as well but the Koki I find I'm reaching for that even more whenever I'm wanting a more neutral palette the wet n wild not a basic peach it does have warmer tones to it but the Koki one it has more of the neutrally tones to it now it is a more cool toned palette but it is a really pretty palette. It does have some shimmer, mattes, good transition shades to it. This is a good staple palette in general for if you want something just to have in your collection to where you can add a pop of color on the lid. Great palette for that. You know, I like this even better, and some of y'all are gonna be like, 
No way. But I like this even better than I like the Elf Mad for Matte palette. And that's the same price, 10 bucks. So if you want something that's about 10 bucks, you get nine shadows in this. The Koki eyeshadow palette and bear it all. It is a more neutral and it can lean natural if you want it to as well. Now, once I do my eyeshadow, I tend to, if I'm going to wear liner, I go in for the liner. Now, whenever I first started, I was using more cream or gel liners like the e.l.f. Uh, gel eyeliner or cream eyeliner or whatever you want to call it. The one in the little square pots. You know, I was using that whenever I first started doing liner a long time ago. But, you know, I... I want to do, I play with wing a little bit more now. I don't really do that great with wings, but I still at least give it a shot now. And in order to do that, I've been playing a lot with the e.l.f., or not e.l.f., Essence Super Fine Liner. Now this right here, it really is a very fine tipped marker. And if you want something that you can easily create uh, a liner on your lid, this right here, especially if you have small eyes. That's one thing with me, a big fat liquid liner does not work for me because I do have smaller eyes. And I like the extra control that the super fine gives. So that's my absolute favorite liner. Okay, I was just making sure I do have a lip product as well here. Then my, after I do my liner, I typically move on to my mascara. Now, if you've been with my channel for very long, you know, you've seen me use this quite a bit recently, especially. It is the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Waterproof Mascara. Now, this here, it does have a big wand to it, which that is the one downfall for it. But it is a good mascara. If you want something that will stay put will not flake because that's what I look for in a mascara. Does it give me length? Does it really make my lashes look a little bit better? Not just longer, but better in general. Yes, this does that. So I absolutely love this mascara and it is the one thing that does it all for me. Now, whenever it comes to brows, there's, this was a really hard decision for me. You know, because I want convenience, so pencils are usually the way I would lean. But, I don't mind grabbing a brush if it is something that I'm wanting to go more bold or edgy or whatever. So I will grab a brush, but that's where it gets kind of sticky for me. Do I want to go with the cream or do I want to go with the pencil? Cream, pencil, cream, pencil, cream, pencil. Well, I decided to go with the pencil. Partly because it is so easy to do. I mean, it's got both your tools, or both the things you need right here. You got your brow pencil, and this is about out. That's all I've got left in this one. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. Looks like I'm going to have to get me a new brow pencil soon. Uh, and then you've also got your spoolie on the other end. So I think this is like five bucks, at least through I Kate House it is. But I, I think you can also get this from Walmart website. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, you know, this right here is a good product. It does tend to stay put uh, pretty well. You know, but I wouldn't say this is waterproof. But, you know, it... It just makes a difference in my brows. So yes, I I would go with the Shady Slim. And I also kind of like it because I tend to laugh. It makes me smile at least every time I think of the name of it because I grew up in the 90s. You know, I was a teenager in the 90s. And, well, I hit my teens in the 90s. Let's put it that way. I hit my teens in the 90s. So if y'all grew up around them, you know what, uh, you've heard of Slim Shady. I'm the Slim Shady, I'm the real Slim Shady. 
yeah. So I can't help but smile or at least chuckle if I don't, you know, if I don't outright laugh. I at least chuckle sometimes whenever I think of the name of that. Now then, we've got the entire face done. Now what about the lips? That was, I guess, I would say the hardest part of this entire thing. If you can see back here, I've got all sorts of lip products. I've also got other lip products elsewhere. I've got so much lip stuff that it was so hard to choose. Now, the woman I got this off of, or saw this from rather, Andrea, she chose a lipstick and then a lip gloss. Me, I typically don't do a lot of glosses. I like straight up lipstick if I'm going to do lipstick. Now, if y'all have been with my channel for long, you know I love the Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. That's what you're seeing back here, mostly. But, I, whenever I'm looking at a lipstick, I'm like, okay, well, what do I want in an actual lipstick? I want something that is going to stay put all day. It's not going to budge. It's not going to go anywhere. And it does feel good on the lips. It doesn't leave me dry feeling or whatever. So I took all that into consideration whenever I chose this. And this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in Rebel Rose is the one I chose. Now, I would say go with any of the Wet n, Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuits. These are about five bucks, I believe, at Walmart. And I did a little swatch here. And that's what it looks like on me. I mean, you can tell this stuff does not budge once it's dry. I mean, so if you want something that is going to stay put and not budge, this right here is the product. So that right there is my main items that I would keep if I had to get rid of every other item of makeup. Those are the items that I would keep. But I'm not going to be that extravagant and throw everything away, so yeah. But I still thought I would share this, you know, and let y'all know what I would keep. These are items that I might even pack if I was going to travel or something. So, let me know in the comments down below if you wear makeup at all. You know, what are some items that you would keep? Like, let me know some of your absolute favorite affordable drugstore face products, for example, like foundation, concealer, that you would keep. Because I'd love to know from you what some of your favorites are. And if you've done this video, or do this video, tweet me on Twitter. Blind Beauty Jen is my Twitter handle. Or you can even send me a message in my face or on my Facebook page and let me know, hey, I did this video, check it out. So I'll leave all my social media links down below as well as the Facebook group that I have called Blind Beauty Support, where you can come and talk about anything beauty. You might see videos from time to time, little sneak peeks of what's coming in the coming days, weeks, whatever, you know. So I hope you join me there and let's get to know each other. Let's chat. So thank you so much for watching and you have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. My top five videos linked below are New Maybelline City Mini Palette Review and Demo What's in My Purse? Garnier Argan Oil and Cranberry Extract Review Get Ready With Me Easy Natural Drugstore First Video Styling My Short Bob